resources from the land. There's just so many um, ex examples of that. And so I guess the biggest message I'd, I'd like to leave with everybody is we talk about decolonization as an indigenous issue, and it's actually not. If this is your issue. At what point are you willing to examine your own worldview and see the impacts it's having on our world and be willing to change that and to consider our worldview as extremely valid, as vital to survival? And um, the it, it, it's a it's a power dynamic. It's um, decolonization is going to happen in your mind and in your heart first. It's really a heart and mind issue, and and to grapple with that. And are you willing? Are do you are you willing to to go forward with that? And so that's kind of the the biggest thing that I, I want to leave you with is that um, decolonization is really on 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 your shoulders. It's it's your work. And, and as Indigenous communities, we are spread so thin. We are trying to keep our children alive. We have youth suicides. We have death rates in all aspects of health. We, we're struggling, and so we need the support. So the other thing to think about when it comes to climate justice and Indigenous justice and a just transition is to also pressure your MPs, your MLAs, to sink money and resources into our communities to we talk about the cap on education we're trying to get our kids educated there's so much we're trying to do that we have very little left to address climate change and and those of us who are doing it we're risking a lot and we're risking criminalization it, it, and our entire way of life has been criminalized since the beginning of of canadian settlement and that hasn't changed we talk about it like it's in the past and it's happening today we are standing up for our future, we have long-term planning, and we've been warned in our lodges. We've been warned that there are hard times coming, and you have to prepare. And um, so, you know, those stories, those ways of knowing, are vital. And so, I think it's quite important that um, we not just be invited to the table, but we be taken seriously. And and I'm not going to have a scientific model to show you up on here, but what I do have is I I have I have the ceremonies that I go into, I have the teachings of the people who are on this path that they've given us to, to bring these messages forward. And so I just wonder if, if, if you're really ready to hear what we have to say, to take us seriously and to work with us, or if you are going to continue on this path in this worldview, because tweaking the system isn't enough. We can't just replace fossil fuels with renewables and say we're, we're doing our part. It's a massive change. So I'll leave it at that. I'm doing the decolonization workshop with my husband, Philip Brass, and Alex Wilson um, tomorrow morning, and I'll stay for questions as well. Um, but thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Bye.